now the floor is to Pierre. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Pascal. Let me start by wishing all of you a happy new year. Uh, in my country, Luxembourg, and a few other countries, you can wish a happy new year until the 31st of January. So I'm still very much on time. Uh, let me join uh, Pascal and Paolo uh, uh, also in congratulating uh, Croatia for uh, joining the Eurozone and uh, uh, joining the Schengen Agreement. And they were kind enough to let me say that they are soon going also to join the ESM. Uh, and the Minister uh, of Croatia today told us that uh, the ratification by Croatia of uh, uh, the ESM Treaty will uh, happen in the following weeks. So it's soon going to be done. And I'm looking forward to be in Croatia in, uh, uh, in a couple of days, to, together uh, also with Pascal Donio and a few others, to celebrate uh, the uh, accession. Uh, of Croatia, which did this in a record time, uh, and that also needs to be underlined. I will just say a few words on, on three items. One is uh, on the economic situation and the uh, Article 4 uh, report of the IMF. I'm going to say a few words on the euro area aspects uh, of uh, the economic governance review, and then uh, last but not least, speak a little bit also on uh, the ratification uh, of the ESM uh, treaty reform. So on the economic situation, obviously uh, a lot has been said uh, and I completely concur with what uh, the President of the Eurogroup and the Commission uh, have said. Um, the common point and the common analysis is that uh, the measures need to be timely and targeted and uh, uh, that is really necessary if we want to reduce the impact uh, of uh, the support measures on the, on the one hand and uh, on the other hand uh, take advantage of the fact that uh, the prices of energy uh, are rather low compared to where they have been a couple of months ago and that is why we need to have a good timing there and we will come back to that topic in the future. It is our role as, as ESM to see all the risks that uh, uh, exist uh, and all the implications uh, of the uh, ongoing monetary policy which is uh, being tightened, uh, the real estate prices uh, uh, that uh, change and uh, all of this we will continue as an ESM to monitor and also learn from the experience uh, of the past. We have a good record now uh, on crisis uh, management and we will uh, obviously um, keep this uh, under close observation. But let's face it, the euro area has weathered the recent crisis well. Um, on uh, the euro aspects um, of the economic governments, just two points. One uh, is a point of timing both for political reasons but also uh, because of the markets. Uh, we, we have a limited time uh, to uh, reform this uh, uh, governance and I insisted uh, uh, on that point. And uh, uh, also the markets, they, they want clarity in a time of volatility uh, on the markets and at a time uh, of uh, tightening of the monetary policy. The second item I would like to underline is that in the proposal that the Commission has made, a, a more uh, importance will be given to debt sustainability. And uh, this is uh, key in order to be sure that loans can be repaid, which is obviously something that the ESM monitors very, very carefully. And some of the instruments that uh, we have in the ESM, like uh, precautionary assistance is dependent uh, on this criteria. So we're uh, following this very closely and interacting with the Commission and all the member states on, on this theme. Third, rectification of the ESM. I have uh, mentioned uh, that uh, Croatia uh, will do it uh, very quickly, uh, the, the, the reformed treaty, and uh, Germany did so on the 19th uh, uh, of December. This is uh, good news because this is uh, 
uh, allowing progress uh, uh, in the banking union. You know that uh, the reform treaty allows the uh, ESM to serve as a backstop for the single resolution fund on top of uh, um, uh, reforming uh, the precautionary elements uh, that are in the treaty. I've uh, visited uh, Italy uh, last week uh, where I had uh, constructive meetings with uh, both uh, the Minister of Finance and uh, the President uh, of uh, the government. We had a very good exchange of views and now uh, it is all in the hands uh, of uh, the Italian parliament. Italy, like all our countries, is a democracy and we need to respect the procedures in every country and in particular respect the Italian parliament. This being said, uh, I've had this bilateral meeting with Italy, but I also had today a bilateral meeting uh, with the Belgian finance minister, Van Pettigem. Also there, an excellent exchange of views, and I'm looking forward to continue my tour. I'm going to visit uh, next week uh, or the, the week after uh, also um, Greece. And I will, in the, in the next couple of weeks, continue the tour so that in the end I will have seen all the member countries. That would be it from my side.